That's a, you know, Rich Dad, Poor Dad is a story about my two fathers. My poor dad was a school teacher, yeah. very smart man. And my rich dad never went to school. And so the information, so starting at the age of nine, growing up in Hawaii, the information was different. The advice was different. So I think most of your viewers out there sitting inside their head are the words from their mother and father. Go to school, get a job, pay taxes, save money, buy a house because it's an asset, get out of debt, yeah. and invest in the stock market. That creates poor people. It's a hypnosis train going through your brain. So when people say, how do I change my life? Well, you change those words. I wouldn't go to school because you learn nothing about money in school. Ask, I wouldn't get a job because if I have a job, I'm an employee. And then I'd pay taxes and I don't pay taxes and I don't save money and I use debt to get rich and I don't invest in the stock market. That's why I'm rich. And so the young people who are listening right now are saying, but that's what my mom and dad said. But that's what mom and dad say all over the world. So to the young people, I just say challenge or question what you've been taught. Because from the Bible, I'm not religious. Yeah, yeah. The word becomes flesh. So if you say, go to school, and you say, but I'll learn nothing about money. Get a job, you become an employee. Yeah. If you're an employee, you work for money, I pay taxes. Then they tell you to save money. Why would you save money when the government's printing money? You know? And get out of debt. Well, debt is money. I use debt to get rich. Most people use debt to get poor and invest in the stock market. I don't invest in the stock market. So when you when you wonder why so many people struggle financially, is they haven't challenged the hypnosis, the words. Go to school, get a job, work hard, save money, get paid taxes. Until you question those hypnotic trances, you don't change. So when I was a little boy, I had poor dad and rich dad, you know, saying, In your head. He's saying, go to school. My rich dad goes, what a waste of time that is, you know. Right. And the way my rich dad taught me is just playing Monopoly. You know, four greenhouses, one red hotel. I learned about money. I learned to be a capitalist, not an employee. I don't pay taxes. I use debt for money. And I don't, I don't invest in the stock market. And when I say that to adults, they get angry at me. So, well, that's what I've done. I said, well, that's why you're poor. But when I said to young people, you have a chance yet. You have a chance. I'm not saying I'm right. I'm just saying question the hypnotic trance put in your head because that's what keeps people poor. When the economy doesn't exist out here, the economy exists in here. Yeah. And until you change the words, the words become flesh. If you get a job, you're an employee. If you save money, you're a saver. And why would you save money when they're printing money? And they say, invest in the stock market for your pension. Well, why would you do that? because that's how they get your money. And you know, get out of debt when guys like me are using debt as money. Well, money is a powerful force, as you know. So my rich, when I was nine years old, growing up in Hawaii, I asked my rich dad to be my teacher, my mentor, you know, be an apprentice to him. He says, then I'll never pay you. He says, if I pay you, you think like an employee. And so, and wait a minute, so I had to think differently. And that's what I'm challenging the millennials right now is, you have a chance yet. Don't wait till you're an old guy like me to find out my pension is gone. See, right now in America, Wall Street is robbing the pensions Pension funds. of the school teachers, the firefighter and police officers. So there's gonna be millions of people like me, my age, who did all, they got a job, they work hard, they save money, they got out of debt. You know, and they put the money in a pension plan and it's all gone. All these well, it's, it's not right or wrong. You see, most people should be employees. Okay. Because most people, it's easier to be an employee. Like I, when I, I, I flew for the Marine Corps in Vietnam and my poor dad wanted to become an airline pilot. He says, go fly for the airlines. And I said, 
no, I can do that. I, I could already fly. Yeah. Why would I fly for the rest of my life? Yeah. You know? He said, but you love flying. I said, yeah, but I want to fly for the rest of my life. I just wanted a bigger challenge. And a bigger challenge would be to be an entrepreneur because I'd have to learn new things. I'd have to learn 10 times more than ever than a, being a pilot. So for me, it was right for me to become an entrepreneur because I was really interested in learning about money and business and economics and all this. But most employees aren't. So for most people who are employees, they should get a job, work hard, save money, pay your taxes and right. all that. But entrepreneurs don't pay taxes. We don't save money. We use debt as money. And everything's different. And I don't invest in the stock market. But I had to pay the price, which was get my own education, not the stuff they teach you in school. So how do you know that you're meant to be an entrepreneur? Is there something that you need to feel? Is there something that you need to do? It can be trained to anybody. Like you said, not everybody needs it. Some people are meant to be employees and want to do that, actually. They don't want to. Most people want to be employees. Okay. They want the paycheck and they want the pension. They want security. And I don't blame them. But many people today don't have that choice. You know, if you lose your job, like my poor dad eventually lost his job. And then he realized going to school, getting a job didn't help him, you know, PhD. He, he, he didn't have the skills for the world. He stepped out of the academic world and onto the streets. You know, the cats ate him alive out there. He, most school teachers cannot survive in the real world. Not in my world, at least, because they don't have the mental strength, spiritual strength, emotional strength, or the education to sustain the battles of being an entrepreneur. I have international businesses, thousands of employees. A school teacher, you know, they don't have that. They don't want that. But unfortunately, with, you know, with artificial intelligence coming and replacing more and more people, you yeah. know, soon Uber drivers will be out of jobs too. You because go, of Tesla and all these other ones that are creating, yeah. Yeah, you know, driverless cars. So all the truck drivers and all this, they're out of work. Which is the biggest category of employment in the USA. That's, I think that's right. Was it truck Big, drivers? Uh, drivers, yeah. biggest employment category. It's the biggest category for men. Yeah. You see all these men who are, you know, John Wayne and Tarzan and Rambo. Yeah. They're going to be out of work. Small ebook, big impact, the wealth tree. The only four ways that will make you financially free forever. Download it here for free.